Hi, my name is Dave Whiteley. I'd like to take this opportunity to uh, run through um, Tubit for Autodesk Inventor. I'm Technical Director of Invisit UK Limited. Uh, and over the years, we've written uh, an add-in for Inventor called iTools, and Tubit is part of that suite. The idea of Tubit is to um, enable us to take uh, a sketch in a part and add tubing to it. Now in this case I've got a 2D sketch. It contains multiple profiles and this is quite useful for designers of heat exchanges and so on where really we want to work in one sketch because we may want to use the offset tool or any other tools to reference the previous sketch geometry. If I run Tubit we are asked to uh, select the uh, geometry so I'll just select the uh, begin the start of the profiles. Give it a diameter, a wall thickness. Click on OK, and that goes ahead and adds uh, tubing to this uh, sketch. Each one of these is added as a separate solid body in this part file, so we can export these out as separate parts in a in an assembly. If we move across, we've got a 3D or a set of 3D sketches here. This is one 3D sketch that again contains a number of runs. And we'll run the Tubit software again. We'll select the geometry. Notice it ignores uh, construction lines. Put our diameter in. In this case, we'll go to the button that says ASME B31.3. We'll actually use this to calculate the wall thickness. Um, we'll put in our pressure, the yield stress, weld efficiency. You can look these up on the, uh, the, the ASME standard. We'll calculate the wall thickness. Click on OK. That puts that back to the dialog box. And we can update this should we wish. Click on OK. And that adds the tube in to our 3D sketch and again the, the one 3D sketch contains three paths and these are added as separate bodies in our multi-body part. Again we can just push this out to an assembly should we wish. And there you are, tube it. And there's our contact information should you wish to get hold of me.